In this video, we are going over how to beat a fast defender in soccer 1v1. Beating a faster opponent, whether you are fast or slow yourself, is possible, but requires a different strategy than taking on a normal defender. I'll be giving you some of those strategies along with some drills you can do in order to improve this area. Understand first that with a faster defender, you usually need to be more strategic and pick your battles. We'll see players like Rashford, for example, run at certain defenders every single time because he has the beating of them. However, for most of us, we don't have his blistering pace, which requires us to be more strategic. He would also have to adopt a different strategy, say facing Danny Alves, than a slower player he faces on a regular basis. So first step is be strategic. You don't need to take your man on every single time. Pick your moment to strike and catch them off guard. Next is you need to use skill moves to your advantage. I can't tell you how many fast players I've managed to beat because I've been able to create space or fool them with skill moves. You need to off balance them so that they can't recover in time. Moves like the step over I have found work very well at this. Many times, for example, a step over will cause the defender to move in the way that I fake or cause them to dive in. Either way, this plays into your hands. Develop your skill moves to the point where you can fool many defenders. These will come in handy when taking on faster opponents since you won't really be able to beat them in a straight foot race. What I recommend you do is that you pick three skill moves that are going to be good for your position and then you work on them as often as you can and try to master them. By practicing these moves very, very often, you'll be able to start beating people in matches, using them in matches, and beat more quick players. Can you say that? Next, use speed to your advantage. Yes, you don't need to be faster than a defender to beat them with speed, and I know that sounds weird, so let me explain. By strategically accelerating and decelerating, you can get a head start on a defender, which sometimes is all you need. Unless he reads you and knows exactly when you're going to burst, he won't be able to take the ball off you right away. Now, this next part is really important. When beating a defender with a burst into space or a skill move, it is important that you get strategic again because he will catch up to you eventually. This means you either need to pass the ball off, cross or shoot before he does. However, if you want to continue dribbling and that's more advantageous, you can do something else, which is cut across it. <laughs> If you beat a defender and then quickly cut across him so that you are directly moving in front of him, he has two options, usually. And that is to let you go and let another defender get onto you, or he can foul you. Either way, it works out for you. If you get in front of him after you've moved past him, it doesn't matter if he's fast or not. To practice this, simply practice decelerating and accelerating. One drill that I really like is called the Brazilian Box. Now, I've gone over this drill many times before, but it's great for practice dribbling with the ball in close control, bursting with the ball, and then practicing your deceleration and acceleration. Doing this drill often will help you become more strategic with your speed. Ultimately, the main takeaway from this is fast defenders can be beaten even if you're not that fast yourself. You just have to be smarter about it. If you can get them to commit or be strategic with your speed, then you'll be able to do it. Don't get discouraged if you're not as fast as a defender. Remember, like I've already said, there are many other ways to beat them. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you are new to Simply Soccer if you want some more daily soccer videos. Also, like the video and share it if you enjoyed the content. And I'm going to put two videos on the screen so you can continue to improve as a player and improve your game. I'll see you in the next video.